Hey guys, Tanner60946 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode uh, 16, give or take a couple. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be doing the interior of this uh, stupid windmill here. Um, before we get started, we're probably going to chase this thing. It's going to go that way, isn't it? Yeah, we better catch up to it. Um, off camera, I did a live stream and where I straighten this thing up. It might need to be just a smidge taller. I can do that off camera though. We can we can still do the interior, and I can raise it up off camera by two, two blocks. Make it two blocks higher. It would probably look better that way. But I can do that in a live stream. Give me something to stream. All right, so we're going to chase this rotating thunderstorm. Let's snag a saddle real quick so I don't walk the entire way. This is not my storage room. I don't know why I went downstairs for that, but that's okay. Let's see where we keep these bad boys at. Definitely don't keep them in these chests, do we? Do I have a saddle? I snagged a saddle, right? Hey, my phone just buzzed. That's not a saddle. Hey, my phone buzzed again. All right. We do not have a saddle. I think I died. I don't know. Either way. Let's go, uh... Let's go. It's uh, raining right here. Yeah, there it is. Just run this way, and I'm totally not checking my phone right now. Let's see. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Ooh, there's a village right on top. Ooh, it's hailing already. I saw a piece of hail drop. There it is again. That means it's probably going to be a tornado soon. It's going to take off like a... I don't know. Kind of looking for a metaphor there, but I didn't find one, did I? Like a... Like a... Like a... Like a runaway slave in the 18... Early 1800s. There's your comparison. You happy now? <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Still alive? That's a lag spike and a half. Oh, nice trades. Still don't know how you're alive. Alright. Ooh, a black sheep. Let's get close enough here so we can get a decent thumbnail to draw in the views. Ah, yes. And then we'll uh, watch this thing, build us a windmill, and we'll call it a day. And hopefully January ad rates will pick back up because I don't like being poor. Would you stop with the text messages? So strange. It's hailing, but it's not. It's not raining. <laughs> Let me turn this on vibrate real quick. There we go. Much better. Am I being pushed? Would you quit that? Oh hello. How are you? I hope you're fine. I am not fine. Ooh, a sunset tornado. That ought to draw in some views. A pig in the air. Pig. Pig. Nope, you're in the thumbnail now. Get over here. If you're going to push me around, you're going to be in the thumbnail. You hear me? Uh, no, pig. Yeah. Which way is this thing heading anyways? Directly away from me. Oh, God. We got to catch up. I'm gonna be able to get my thumbnail. This thing's booking it. <laughs> All right, come on. I wonder if it might hit a village. I don't know. I've never really been out this way that much. I don't know the terrain. Oh, there's another pig. See some pumpkins. Could hit those pumpkins. <laughs> oh, we've already got mobs spawning. It's gonna make this slightly more annoying. Wish it would turn into an F1 so it would slow down. It might not. It might just weaken and die for all I know. This is tornado country right here. There's literally paths everywhere. Uh, is it going to straighten up there? Don't hit me. Stupid skeleton. Here we go. Now we're getting close enough for a thumbnail. Come on. Pop up on the radar so I can take a picture. Come on. Oh, it's weakening. Oh, well. That's a picture. Alright, let's follow this thing and see if it kills something worthwhile. You know, 
I don't care about these peasant mobs. They can they can die for all I care. I, what I care about is the big old spinny boy here. Will it destroy something in its short life? Its wife and kids. Never get to know them. It's probably die of virgin tornado. I doubt it would make any kids. Assuming that's how the reproductive organs of a storm works. Oh yeah, we're coming in hot now. Oh, it crossed a river. It's raining sideways. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. Man, if we were chasing this with a vehicle, we'd be flooring it, I'll tell you. Is it picking up? It is. Alright, there's your tornado of the episode. Great introduction. Is it picking up? I think it is. It's a weird funnel. It appears to be slowing down. <laughs> Get rocked. Yep, it's picking up. Where did the path end? Oh, the path ended back there. Now it's just a funnel. There you go. Is there another storm somewhere? Jeez. There's a rumbling. No. I love how it still classifies that as a tornado. Even though the path ended right here. Go for it. Oh, boy. Wow, that was unnecessary. Alright, let's go back to build this windmill. Alright, I made it back to the windmill here. It took me a while. Let's put down our radar just in case. Should be on a day, right? Let's make that a day. I don't want to have to take more time to chase storms. Let's just grab a bunch of crap here that we may, may end up using. You never know. That'll work. Oh, there's my thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get rid of the crap there. Alright. So, the first things first is we're going to have to uh, do some adjustments here. Like, for example, make that pillar down better. I was going to say, that's surely a block there. Surely it's a block. Uh, trying my best here to get this looking halfway decent. Like, I don't, I don't want that there. to do here. <laughs> let's see. Uh let's just let's just finish this pillar here and I can decide. This interior is just a tad tricky. Just a tad. How tricky is still to be determined. Whoops. <laughs> that's the outside right there. That's gonna have to be like that. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's do the other side here so we get a better idea. Hey, get rid of that back. You stupid. Um, let's see, it goes boom, boom, boom. So I should go boom, boom. Oh, oh god. I don't even know what this is. Why is it like this? <laughs> I don't know. I messed up somewhere, I believe. I don't know where. But I did. This is symmetrical, right? This is... This should be right. Um... <laughs> it's just because the interior... Or the entrance there is different. That's all the... That's all there is to it. We don't have enough spruce for this. We're gonna have to plant some trees. We're, I'm just gonna wing the interior here. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna see me absolutely wing this. Boom. Alright. That should be enough for now. And until then, let's get this.
Oh, that's all we got. All right, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> We're just gonna, it's gonna be our first floor here. We're gonna need way more spruce, but that's okay. We'll have to pick somewhere to do the staircase too. This is my first windmill. Also the first windmill of any tornado survival series ever. I would just like to point out the original windmill to ever be built in a tornado survival. I should copyright it just to make sure nobody steals it. Because that would just be rude if somebody stole this. Genius idea. Oh crap, we're already out. Um, let's pick a spot to do the... Uh, oh, we should plant some more because I just realized we're going to need more. That should work. All right, grow. <laughs> Could we do a spiral staircase? I mean, let's see. I think I want the floor to just be this. I like this very much. They've done a wonderful thing by making us be able to do these pathways. Let's do this. I gotta, I gotta waste time so that those trees can grow. But this is, I definitely think this is just an easy floor. You know, this is a windmill. It's not like there's tourist, tourist, whatever, tourist coming in here, you know, visiting or anything. This is just a, you're, oh, wait a minute, this is not supposed to be like that. Does it sound like that? No, it's not. This, this isn't, you know. This isn't supposed to be too pretty. This is an industrial thing. This is supposed to be generating power. So if we're going to be realistic here, this should just be matted down grass. It should be a dirtish floor. But not, not a dirt, but, you know, similar to that. Ah. There we go. Looks ugly, but that's okay. Alright, so where's the center of this? Um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the center of this would be right here. So if we were to make a pole going straight up. Excuse me. Excuse me, game. Thank you very much for your cooperation. We'll replace this with uh, normal planks in a minute. Now this needs to curve all the way around. This has to go to the top. What the? Give me this. Oh my god. Come on now. I guess these corners can be. Give me a minute. All right, I'm a genius. Give. It, let me figure this out. It's gonna be like this. We might as well go like this, like that. We'll do every other one a stair, you know. this level is this the right angle I think we we're at the top here oh this is no good <laughs> we're gonna have to see here yeah all right we need my logs back all right we need our spruce now we got to oh they grew Terrific. Alright. Let's see. What? What's something I can talk about? Why? How can I commentate, you know? 
I'm a very good commentator. Let me think of this. Uh, I know I can talk about. I'll tell a story. All right, that's what we'll do to pass the time. I'll tell me a, tell you a good old classic story. That really needs a window. We'll work on it. So uh, today's story time is gonna be about the time that Tanner ran over a dog. Um, <laughs> if you if you really like dogs, I don't know if this uh, the story time is the is the story time for you. Because it has a really awful ending for the dog. <laughs> really turned out not so well for the dog. So, uh, I drive a truck. I, you know, I got my license a couple years ago. I drive a 1999 Chevy Silverado. 5.3 engine, you know, all that good stuff. And it, uh... So it's a pretty, pretty nice truck. Treated me well. Treated me well. One day I was driving home, you know, going about 40 down a, down a one lane road, and one lane road where there's an, it's, it's a two lane road, but there's no yellow line. So there's enough room for cars to pass. You just gotta slow down whenever you meet them. That's gotta go. So you know, it's that kind of road. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. All right. So, I'm going down this road. I see this I see this German Shepherd on the side of the road. So, I'm going 30. I'm like, okay, this dog sees me. It knows to not sprint out in front of me like dogs shouldn't do. So, you know, yeah. I just keep going. You know, it starts it starts running towards the road. I'm like, "Oh, great. This genius dog is it's gonna scare me. It's gonna. It's got a little scare tactic going on here. It's a whole. I'm, I better watch out here. I'm, I'm still thinking in the back of my mind. This thing is not gonna. It's not. It's not gonna run over me. You know, or it's not gonna run out in front of me. So it it starts jogging beside my truck at this point, and I'm. I'm still not concerned. It's. It's just some stupid dog. Just give it a couple minutes, or just give it a couple seconds. It's gonna die off. So I I I'm, I let off the gas a little bit. All right, I'll be honest here. It's it's starting to it's jogging right next to my car. It's get this is is the story is happening within like a second time frame by the way. So my mind switches from thinking oh yeah it'll be fine it'll stay right where it are to is this dog about to kill itself because I think this dog is about to kill itself. So it starts it start making it a way towards me and I'm like oh dear God and um well. There wasn't much I could do at that point. It's it's running diagonal, and I'm like, you know, even at that angle, I don't think it could. I don't think it could catch me. So this thing makes a leap of a leap of faith. This German Shepherd, leap of faith, dives straight out in front of my truck, and I mean, like, it's not like he was in the road and ran out in front of me. No, this sucker dives like he is swan diving to my truck. Oh my. It swan dives, right out. I I I have no choice but to run over him. I if it was my dog and it had run out in front of me, I would be running it over because there wouldn't be a choice. That's that's how bad this was. All right. So this the sucker swan dives out, and I luckily I don't know how he even got this far. It dives to the right side of my truck. All right, right side all the way over to the right side, and uh. At that point, you know, I'm bracing for impact. I realize, like, oh, God, I'm hitting this thing. And uh, it gets plumb run over. I've never, I've never had, you know, I've never jumped anything with my truck. But I've definitely never been in the air higher off the ground with my truck. Because my tire, my right tire, just ramps this thing straight over its collarbone. And I'm plumb in the air. runs two wheels over it. The... I swear I thought I lost half the components of my truck on the road about a mile back once I ran over this thing. It felt like it knocked everything loose, but luckily it didn't. Nothing happened. But, um, uh, you know, for a second there it sounds like all's well that ends well, right? Now, you go back and, you know, turned around. My dad was riding with me when it happened. And, uh, yeah, we had to drag a, uh, stiff corpse of a once German shepherd off the side of the road into some owner's yard. Because you can't just leave it in the middle of the road. It's a 40-pound German Shepherd I just crushed with my truck. So, uh, 
had to uh, had to drag it off the road into the owner's yard. And let's see, is this darker than that? I think it is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh jeez! But yeah, that's uh, that's the time I ran over a dog. Not intentionally. He didn't leave me much choice though. I might have to chase that just because it's on top of us. We'll end off the episode once we chase that. But uh, if there's a moral to the story of me running over a German Shepherd, it's that one, leash your dogs, people. If, if you love your dog, you leash it, alright? If you're going somewhere, don't be like, yeah, sure, here you go, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, what do people name their dogs? I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I'm not a dog owner, so I don't, I don't know what people who love their dogs name them. Um, Chase, that's a dog name. Hey, Chase, here you go, uh, go play in the streets while we're gone, you know? Nah, you don't do that. That's, nah. What the hell? Shit. What the? What, the, what in the what? Hold on. That fixes that problem. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, d if you don't want your dog to get crushed by a 99 Silverado, um, uh, just go ahead and leash it before you leave. Get it a pen. Get it a nice little fenced-in area where it can, it can run around and enjoy life. Maybe I don't know. Not, not die at a young age of like four in dog years. You know, or not four in dog years. That'd be a puppy I crushed them <laughs> in human years. You know. Oh my gosh, what is? I don't understand. This is confusing me. There you go. Yeah, leash your dogs, people, if you don't want, you know, to lose a dog. The worst part is, this thing, this happened right around, it, two days before Christmas. You know, it's, oh dear God. Oh, it's a water spout right over my house. That was weird, I was panicking. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, two days before Christmas. December 23rd, I crushed this thing with my truck. I was coming home from Grandma's house. It's like a twisted version of the, um, uh, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer, except for Grandma's grandson crushed a German shepherd of a nearby neighbor, really. See if you can make that lyrically. Lyrically possible. But yeah, at least your dog, get it a pen, something. Just don't make it my responsibility to not run over. Sweet. Alright. That's all I got to say about that. Let's chase this hailstorm. Or, uh, might need to get in the house for this. This is... Oh, we should get in the weather tower. Genius thinking. We can actually use it. Wow. I hear the wind of this thing. Oh, we are right under it, I'll tell you. It's going to be kind of hard to see when we're right under this thing. Yeah, but no damage was done to my truck, so I moved on. The pay, the people weren't home when it happened, so I I would have uh, I wasn't gonna apologize. I was gonna be like, hey, your stupid dog sprinted out, swan dived in front of my truck right before he got its skull crushed. By the way, hey, um, uh, here's a leash. I should have bought him a leash and put him on the front door. Strapped a get well balloon to the top of it. Oh yeah, this thing's moving away at a decent speed. Oh yeah, not even near us. Oh yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, it's over here now. Oh yeah, I we'll have a really good view of this thing too. We should have made that glass. That'd been cool. Is this thing gonna be weakening now that we're up in this weather tower with a decent view of it? It's gonna weaken, isn't it? Come on, just go ahead and weaken so I can end off the episode with a disappointment. Oh, there it goes. Oh, sweet. That's kind of cool. Alright, now we can see the funnel and everything. 
gosh, it's already that far. All right, let's go, just in case this thing turns into a, a monster EF5 that's thumbnail worthy. Oh yeah, out in the open plains. There's a village over this way, but it's to the north a little bit. I think this hits ocean if you go far enough. I don't think it takes very long at all either. I still never filled this in. I really wanted to because it's so ugly. Maybe this one will be an EF1 or something. At least a little more exciting. An EF2 would be awesome. Oh look, it's where I measured horses or whatever. I don't think the EF is... I think that it does layers of damage now. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. Man, we're getting pretty close to this thing. Let's check it out. See if it's still weakening. Or still strengthening. Whatever. You. Oh, yeah. It's weakening. There you go. A bunch of boring rope tornadoes. Yeah, it's out to sea now. Still out to see it. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. That's gonna that's gonna end it off for this episode. Um, check out my channel for a live stream. Goodbye, Tornado. Check out my channel for a live stream. We'll do some stuff in regards to the windmill, like uh, maybe touch up the interior a little bit and uh, lift up the uh, second story to make it look better. And then we'll start a new project and continue to chase tornadoes like we do. And hope that our base will continue to dodge bullets as it's done. Um, that was a closer call than you think this episode. It started probably, what, touchdown over there somewhere? It's, it's pretty close to the base. One of these days we're going to get hit. It's going to happen. It's really unfortunate, but it's going to happen. Especially as we continue to expand. The more, <laughs> more bases we have, the greater odds of us getting hit. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. If you got any comments, concerns, questions, anything, leave them down below. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, God. It's terrifying. <laughs> there we go.